If you're trying to play Minecraft using Eternos and your servers keep crashing, there is a good chance that there are some configuration settings or uh, something that is out of place. So the easiest way to fix it is head up to Eternos and then click on the play button in the bottom right. This will show you your server or servers right here. So we're going to go ahead and open this one. And now here, as you can see, the server is offline right now and it isn't crashing. But if it were, the first thing I would do is check my mods. Now, as you can see, I don't have any mods installed on this particular server because it's using vanilla. And that's a great place to start because we can start with our server software before we get into mods. So head over to the software section dodge all of these annoying ads and uh, now you have a bunch of different mod loaders that you might be using so uh, for example if you're using forge or neoforge or something like uh, bucket for uh, plugins depending on that you may want to check whether or not you're using the latest version for example if i'm using forge so if we go ahead and open this up as you can see the latest version is for minecraft 1.2.1.5 which is forge version 55.0.22 if you're running an older version even uh, something that's more recommended like uh, this one right here as you can see with that star icon uh, you might be running into crashes because the game has updated uh, and uh, there is a version mismatch between the mod loader on the server and the mod loader on your client so make sure that you cross check version numbers between uh, different mods and between your mod loader as well so make sure that you're using exactly this uh, version number of forge and exactly this version number of minecraft now uh, as far as your mods go so let me just quickly uh, install forge latest version to show you how these mods are going to work all right so forge is now installed you can head over to the mod section and uh, now you will see all of your mods here so for example journey map is a mod that i often use and as you can see this mod has also been updated in accordance to the version number that forge and minecraft are using so you also need to make sure that you get the matching version or the latest version of everything that you use so latest version of minecraft latest version of your mod loader and the latest version of your mod uh, these usually don't crash your server if you have a version mismatch the mod simply just doesn't work but it can do so in um, borderline cases so just make sure that everything is updated and uh, up and uh, running now moving on another reason why your server is crashing is because of your map uh, maybe you uploaded a world or you changed the seed and it didn't quite work out or you entered the seed number wrong um, so minecraft would on the server will just not be able to load your world so the best way of doing this is to just try and reset your world i know you're going to lose whatever it is that you had but uh, it will at least get your server up and running if you're in a pinch so uh, as you can see you can just come to the world section and uh, then head over to the upload files and the generate option uh, so now just make sure that the optimized thing is on so that we when we end up changing this new world we can get it up and running so you can either upload uh, the, a folder of your particular server we've already done a video on how and uh, if not you can just click on the generate button and create an entirely different world with a random seed that can also fix your problem now moving on you can also try and restore backups so Eternos automatically takes backups of your server as it's running uh, you're going to have to log into google drive in order to be able to save them i haven't done that but uh, when you head over to all your backups you will see that there are no backups found so just log in make sure that you when you're setting up your server if you've logged into google drive and uh, have used uh, the auto backup feature then you'll have backups here that you can uh, recover to and get your server back up and running if you don't have any backups uh, you're going to have to look for more specific ways to fix your problems and then move on and then enable the auto backup feature you will also get log errors so as you can see this log is right now empty because the server isn't running but if you come to the log section you will see uh, a bunch of different complicated lines of code and the ones highlighted in red will tell you what the error is this isn't the most user-friendly way of figuring out errors with Aternos, but if you're going to be running servers it's about time that you learn how to read logs uh, depending on what the error in the log says that is what you're going to have to fix so you can go ahead and google for that specific issue and you will 
find your solutions uh, last but not least you can also check for Eternos server status online so sometimes there might just be a problem with Eternos and your server might be all right so to do this uh, we're just going to open up google and we're going to search for Eternos server status press enter and you will be redirected to the Eternos GmbH website now uh, as you can see all of the systems are operational there are absolutely zero problems so Eternos is all okay here and the problem lies with your server and uh, that's it that's how you can fix server issues with Eternos if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such Eternos videos we can do for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website Canada Technology follow us on social media and if videos don't really help you out as much do consider getting a membership so we can help you at a greater extent that's it for today we'll see you in the next one